Hey YouTube, got another one for you. This is the Walther G22 22 caliber rifle and 22. But first, the uh, Walther G22 was a uh, 22 caliber rifle. Kind of think the early thousands. I think it was intended to be a, uh, much like the last video, intended to be a companion carbine to uh, one of Walter's handguns, in this case the Walther P22. As you can see, I've, if you've seen a Walther P22, and I, I'll show you something in a second. I don't have a P22 on me at the moment, but you could sort of see Walther's design language at the time of what they were going for. This is just a P99, but you get the idea. So the P22 is just a smaller size version of the P99. But it's meant to be similar to that, but this, in this case it's a uh, bullpup rifle. As you can see by this. And the magazine release for this is this little button right here. Drops these little 10 round magazines. It also carries a spare in the stock, which is just held in by friction fit. So I, I wouldn't recommend taking out too often because it might come too loose after a while. This can also uh, be converted to left side ejecting as you can see these little space covers right here and it's got a really odd safety you see this uh button right here right now it's on safe rotate up to fire with your finger and it makes these little red or orange color things pop up so you can tell it's on fire now there's a uh plastic rail on here for mounting any kind of optics you want along with the front side post and the rear side when you're not using a scope slides up and it has a uh, dial for different numbers on here which I think has graduated meters it also has a little section of rail right here which is also plastic unfortunately that uh there's a uh, laser you can get that's meant to sort of fit the uh form factor of the handguard so it looks like it's part of the handguard what's mounted on there i haven't found one of those yet and you also got another section of plastic right here which you can use to mount foregrips flashlights bipods whatever you want on there it has a uh, rubber texturing right here here the grip's got like a little of rubberish material on it and uh the butt socks rubbery as well I'm going to dry fire for you guys, even with the 22, I'll just do it anyway. Maybe a take up. Some creep. There it goes. It's not a particularly great trigger eater. Oh. Stupid light bulb. And bolt holds open. I'm going to drop the magazine just so I can do this. Reset. All the way out again. So this is not a particularly great reset. But it's a very light and handy rifle. I'll just say that much. Although uh, I've not disassembled it. But I have seen. Look at the manual. And it is a bit complicated. <laughs> so chances are. Probably the most I'm going to do to clean this. Is just. Clean the barrel, oil out the bolt, and clean, clean the bolt face. That's probably about it. Which I think is what Walter intended when they made this thing. It seems to be very common with most 22s or They're semi-automatic that aren't 10 22s. <laughs> is they basically just say, don't take it apart and clean it. Well, I will say, because it's a bullpup, it's very back heavy. So, it tends to want to do this when you're holding it. 
but it does mean you can hold it like this for an extended period of time if you so want to. There's almost no weight down here. <laughs> As for the case it came in, it came, at least this particular one did anyway, came with this little baggie. It's got all the parts in for converting it to left hand feed and some spare parts, like there's some screws and stuff in here. And also came with some stock spacers to increase the length of pull if you want a little bit longer stock. And as I said in the last video, the case that Walther used is the exact same one that the Beretta CX-4 came in. Which I think is kind of amusing. <laughs> See if I can give a mic back in my hand. Eh, I can't. Ah, come on. Probably to practice on that one if I wanted to do tactical reloads with my Walther 22. But no, this is more just a range toy. I just wanted to get something a little different from a 1022, although I would like to get another 1022 one of these days. But yeah, that's the. Walther G22. Just a funky old 22 rifle. Anyways, have a nice day.